The name of the exhibition is Signs of the Time. This is an exhibition that has now had a much bigger project built around it. For example, the painting of the green sheds, which for us was a great way to get art outside the walls of the gallery and into the grounds of the precinct. So we're going to do a scene that's very heavily inspired by nature, taking a little bit of influence from local areas, but also there's a bit of uh, unknown, maybe magical worlds. It's going to be big, bright, bold and abstract. So we put together an expression of interest that was a national call out to artists through a number of different media channels. The judges picked the two artists mainly because their work was actually really different to one another. We have an artist like Elliot uh, Rutledge or Numskull whose work is really contemporary and abstract. And then we have Mike Macatron's work. It's very much a detailed kind of landscape uh, mural. The fact that we had these two very, very different artists working almost side by side we thought was a really great way to show the, the depth and breadth of what is happening in street art today. It's the biggest art movement of history because every city will have their, their different crews, different groups and it's such a broad uh, art movement. I think street art and generally public art can achieve so much for the public. It engages the community in the areas they're in. Um, it can change an entire neighbourhood based on like so many different factors. It's generally an easily digestible art form where certain things in um, galleries, a lot of, most people look at it and they just don't really get it. But street art, if you like it or don't like it, you at least get it straight away in general. The main core of, the, of this project is this exhibition, which we're standing in today. Predominantly come from the collection of a private collector by the name of Ken McGregor, uh, who's actually a benefactor for the Art Centre as well. He's put together a collection that includes international artists as well as Australian artists. So you have works by Banksy, you have other works by Bambi and Black Lorette. He's been collecting these works for a number of years and it's the only place that you can see the exhibition is at the Gold Coast. So we're really excited to have that exclusive event. There's also a number of other projects happening, some on-site, some off-site. It's one of the first times that the Art Centre has actually worked together holistically to develop an across-precinct program. In the foyer gallery we've put together a collection of 16 works that were commissioned specifically by the gallery. Uh, the artists were all given a standard size board to create their work, so we've got 16 brand new pieces that are part of the exhibition as well and those are all actually going to be going up for auction through uh, the website Art Fido, so that's www.artfido.com. You can bid on the works and the money will be going straight back to the artists and to a number of charities that have been selected by the artists. Uh, I guess I first getting into art in my family house. I was one of six kids and we drew all over the walls. I started dabbling in street art kind of around the 2000s. From there, I guess the idea to get my work bigger and bigger just became quite obvious and there was more opportunity to do that. I went to three universities, New York, Adelaide and Melbourne. But I think you learn a lot from painting on the streets and painting with other people. Collaborating is probably the biggest education I think I've had. There's all different types of things you have to take into consideration like surface, access, specific equipment that you have to get per different wall and a lot of things you have to think about. I find it a constant challenge. That's the great thing about art is there's, there's never a finish line. You never uh, get to a certain level where you're done. This is a quite a large scale and the biggest challenge with this is the corrugated effect. But one of the good things is to take all of this in, you have to stand you know, 20 metres back so all these like little, little details don't really matter so much. I think the sheds look amazing. They're going to be a real asset for us because I think they're going to become something that people are going to come and look at specifically. It's been great over the last few days seeing how many people have been stopping and taking photos and talking to the artists and so it's already generating a lot of interest I think. It's been pretty hot but it's uh, a lot of fun. All up it took four days. Smooth with a little hint of stressful in it, just because of the timeline. To have it finished and part of the landscape is awesome. It looks like it's going to be a good exhibition and it's been great to be here. The exhibition runs right through to the 9th of April. There's plenty of time for people to come and have a look and if they're interested in being involved in some of the other programs and things that are on, you can go through the Art Centre's website and make some bookings and have a look. Yeah.